Good morning, folks. Today we've got some can't-miss news articles and the usual space weather and Earth alerts, nuclear contamination, long-term climate news, comets and planets, a recap of some fun facts from our campaign which wrapped up yesterday, and what we should be watching for. Let's get to it. We'll come first to spaceweathernews.com and check in on the last day of our star. It looks calm, especially in the Earth-facing position. The southern hemisphere presents two coronal holes, departing and incoming with a thin dark plasma filament snaking between them. Hopefully he stays put right there. Up north, the lone eruptive feature can be seen just incoming on the eastern limb, getting it all out before he faces Earth. Coronal cavity up north still, with another eruption threat, plasma filament, crossing in the mid-latitudes. Solar flaring remains low. That C flare was at the limb where the Earth-facing quiet hasn't taught him any better yet. Departing spots are magnetically simple except for the group of ultra-small umbras. Not a good flaring combo, and the big one incoming still needs some help around him. The departing coronal hole we saw earlier should deliver a shockwave and speedy stream in the solar wind either tonight or tomorrow. Calm conditions now are a good environment for analyzing any impact that may come. Top news today is about the Maunder minimum and grand minimums on our star in general. Turns out that while the U.S. Southwest will get floods and the northern states are in winter trouble during grand minimum, the Caribbean hurricanes are less active, favoring the Atlantic, and it is all about the sun. Next up, protected waters outside the Turkey Point Station have been being contaminated and we don't know how long it's been going on. Sitting between two national parks and lands, the University of Miami is sweating bullets over the ecological implications. I can't wait to discuss this further Saturday on Fly on the Wall, but for now, our predictions from more than two years ago are confirmed. Comet siding spring devastated the magnetic character of Mars, causing a major event that we must hope never has to happen on our planet. Grids would be gone. I thought I'd share this. All the news discusses is heat these days, but across the world, records do slip in the other direction. Road closures in Mexico, with record snowfall hitting British Columbia as well, just on the other side of the continent from the heat records. Of course, the middle lands between them aren't doing much better. This is the scene in Louisiana where flood risk is centered, but certainly not contained. There is no reprieve today for these areas, nor is there tomorrow. The rain is going to keep coming and coming, and the tornadoes may not take pity on the affected regions either. Eyes open there, folks. The low-pressure earth spot system seems stuck in the region, driving the convergence line on the eastern side of the low to deliver those events day after day. Folks, the fundraising for the Disaster Prediction app has come to a close. Nearly 120,000 in pledges in just 20 days makes the Mobile Observatory Project's success look like child's play. We're not wasting any time in getting started here. Details will come. But first, here are the top locations pledging their support to the app. No shocker with LA and Phoenix in the top two spots, but Australia jacking three of the top ten city spots. That is awesome, Australia. Top countries over on the right there pretty much matches the viewer demographics for these morning news videos. Folks, if you are a bookworm and happen to like the way we cram information into these short videos, you might like our book, available at otf.cells.com or by clicking the links around at our website or down below this video. Take just about everything in these areas, the topics we discuss, take the most common questions and difficulties in understanding, take the quick, no-nonsense delivery of these news, and that's our book. Right now, it's only available in electronic format, but hard copies will be available again later in the spring. We've got pressure and radar forecast, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.